Hello again, welcome to this week's uh, episode of my, my live coding session. Uh, how have you been? Uh, I'd like to know. Uh, I've been busy with with work, with uh, with a lot of work. Uh, so we did the recording of the Ford Net webcast and I still had to edit it, uh, doing stuff with uh, DaVinci Resolve, which is new, well, editing tool I, I'm trying out uh, and for uh, before I use Camtasia which is awesome to make videos and screen recordings but DaVinci Resolve is well a step up and in, in, well professionalism or at least that's what I've been told um, so that's what I've been told um, so uh, was busy investigating the stuff and also doing uh, some uh, some well programming work during the day. So my days were packed. Hopefully uh, yours have been uh, well fun and uh, educational also. Uh, today, uh, well, uh, last time uh, I was uh, streaming, we were stuck uh, doing a warm up of our uh, app service. So I, what I wanted to do is deploy my app to a staging slot do a swap FIP uh, with the staging and production and make sure my production environment stays well hot uh, so users won't be affected with a swap. So I did everything right or at least I think I did everything right and while doing a swap we got an error notification that it failed and it either took too long or something else failed. Couldn't figure out why because swapping manually did work so, which is strange, or at least strange, not per se, but it's not what I expected. Last time, uh, before ending the stream, uh, I, I did a final uh, deployment with, with some well, additional tweaks, which I hope it ha would have helped. After uh, ending my stream, I, got any, uh, or I noticed the deployment uh, failed also. So uh, let's let's well uh, start where we left off last time. If you have any ideas on how to solve this, please let me know. I'm kind of stuck at the moment, at least. Um, so I'm doing a deployment to a staging slot. Want to do a swap pip, and the error I'm receiving is well, it either uh, as you can see, it either took too long or failed which is uh, I've copy pasted this in, uh, in Sublime already so uh, to make it a bit more readable uh, error swapping a bad request cannot swap uh, took too long or failed which is well quite a clear error uh, it's strange-ish as I only saw uh, one warm-up being invoked and according to the documentation it should retry it five times and there's a timeout of 90 seconds and it fails well rather quickly after uh, after well half a minute or wait a minute swapping successfully updated okay so this is one and a half minutes about so this makes sense this is 90 90 seconds but still it's only once uh, so the initialization failed okay quite clear but it does work when doing the swap manually so what I thought of uh, in the end last time or read on some uh, Stack Overflow post I don't remember exactly I should uh, feel the last minutes of my last recording back but I haven't done this you can do so or at least once I've uploaded it. But uh, it had something to do, or my guess, it has something to do with uh, uh, app settings for a specific slot. So when deploying a, a staging slot, you can specify which app settings are specific to your deployment slot. And I had copy pasted every app setting to my staging slot along uh, fr from my production slot so they would be the same. 
but I don't think I need to do this. So what I did in the end is uh, this is the, the staging slot and I've removed the, the app settings of it. So this is the website slots, slots. So these are the, the configuration settings and I've removed the app settings. So if I scroll a bit up, there are the application settings for uh, for this uh, uh, for the production slot. So this is the production slot, normal, with some configuration settings and some application settings. With the warm-up ping path and the warm-up ping statuses. And, and I'm not sure, but I don't think I need to copy paste this over here. And all of this stuff is being deployed via uh, my ARM template, so I should be able to delete it whenever I want. So this is the error in Azure DevOps. And this is, well, from what I've read, uh, I've did some reading a couple of minutes before starting the stream. I saw you can visit the activity log in order to see what has failed. So I see the the, 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 the slot swap failing six days ago, which was past uh, Tuesday. And well, it's the same error message, so not really helpful. Or maybe this error is correct. It's just not what I expect as the endpoint does work. And it's quite responsive. So what I've created is this warm-up endpoint, warm-up controller, which does a task delay and it returns an OK. So <coughs> I'll, I'll just put this, this uh, in comments. This was to well, simulate a long running operation, but let's, let's just commit this. So changes. Removing the delay. Okay. okay, so this uh, has been removed. And I've also removed last time, well, the app settings, which we can see in the commit history, all commits, remove the app settings. So you can see the diff over here. I've removed all of these settings. Not very special. Hopefully, helps a bit. Um, okay, that's that's this one. And what can we do more? Oh, the, we have of course. Um, I've got Edge open. What I noticed when starting up every screen again is this is the the production slot. So all of the app settings are here. So this is good. Uh, you can also see I have the deployment slot on production, traffic 100%, and you can go to the staging slot if you want. Um, let's also go here to the warm-up endpoint. So this is uh, slash warm-up, or was it without the, the API prefix? I don't remember. API warm-up, okay. So this should retrieve some data. So it's a, I guess it's a 200. It should take about five seconds. Maybe there it goes. So pending, pending, pending. And about five seconds. Also got this one, so I'll just put it over here to make it a bit more clear. And I think it's um, staging like this. So I've got the staging slot over here. Uh, let me, yes. So what's it called? You know, dash staging. So that's this one. And it also finished after about five seconds. So I know these endpoints work. They take about five seconds to load, which is what 
we configured with a task delay. So this works. And the reason I'm using Edge for this is because I have some bug with Firefox. It doesn't load some blades. So when I go to deployment slots for application insights or whatever, some blades just stay blank and I can't do anything here. Uh, I haven't figured out why. It's not a big priority as I can work around it. But if you have an idea, let me know because this is quite annoying. So I have a couple of plugins installed which might cause the issue, but Ghost3 is disabled on the portal. Uh, Adblock Plus also. And which add-ons do I have more? So AZ Mask, Dark Mode, not very, well, not very fancy uh, uh, plugins. So something to do with styling, which, well, no, it shouldn't do anything. It's not activated on the portal. So it's strange, I don't know why some stuff isn't loading. Maybe you have an idea, let me know. <laughs> but that's... So this works. Uh, I've removed the delay, so this should work also. But what I noticed, that's what I want to tell you. So we have these app settings over here in the uh, in a production slot. And what I noticed in the staging slot, they're all deployment slot settings, or some of them are, which is not what I expected. Um, well, I, I did deploy them the first time as a well as a copy of the of the uh, of the actual values but afterwards i did a redeploy where all the app settings were uh, removed which was deployed was the last deployment of well of uh, last week and we still have these deployment slot settings so i might want to on template Azure Resource Manager template reference. So I should go to web. And there's probably something on sites, config, app settings, if it's a slot setting or not. So I know you, there is some notation for slot settings. Slots config so connect strings <coughs> these are the app settings so you have to set something in order to make it slot settings if i'm not mistaken Or not. Maybe if you just specify settings in your slot, it will make it a slot setting. So we could just, well, remove this configuration part also, because this is also a copy paste from uh, from the actual. To the production slot so remove this one so we only have this staging slot now so staging slot remove task remove move conflict settings um, Lot. <clears throat> and I'll just push it to see. Oh, no, no, no. I, I won't push it just yet. If you want to follow along with my code changes, you can. 
it's all on uh, GitHub. So uh, this is the link. Uh, GitHub Yandev Secure APIs, or at least that's what the repository is called. It's not very secure yet. So there you have it. So in, in order to make sure I have a clean environment, I will just delete this this resource, this slot. So uh, delete staging. This will make sure next deployment. This is strange. App delete blade. Okay. So maybe if I go over here, so deployment slots. It's gone. So that's that might be why I got the error because the resource doesn't exist anymore. So the blade doesn't know what it has to load. Could be. So but as you as, as you can see, I don't have a staging slot anymore, it's gone. Which is what I wanted. So dismiss all. Uh, now I can uh, push my changes. So I removed the delay and I removed the configuration settings. So I'll just push it. A new build will uh, be uh, started and hopefully, well, a new deployment will be started also, which hopefully succeeds. <clears throat> so the pipeline is running. Yes. And what I noticed is a deployment takes about five minutes. So if you have a joke to crack, please put them in chat. You might notice I'm not having any background music today. I got a comment from, from one of my viewers last time. The background music was quite annoying because I was talking so much. So having background music and talking a lot is annoying so that's why I don't have it today if you think I should put it back let me know uh, everything to please the crowd I might just have to turn it on while while doing deployment and waiting for it or just show you TikTok videos while waiting, it might be a great plugin for Twitch. Showing TikTok videos while waiting for <coughs> deployments to finish. This should take about, well, it depends a bit, somewhere between two and three minutes. That's almost done. As I, as I told you last time, tomorrow we have a day off, or at least it's a, well, kind of a holiday in the Netherlands, uh, the, the May, May 5th, uh, which is Liberation Day over here. Uh, a lot of companies are still working because it's not an official holiday. It's just a couple of companies in the Netherlands and of course the, the government uh, have a day off. And my employer was kind enough to uh, give us a day off also, which is great, of course, given the current circumstances, because this will give us, uh, well, a free day with, with the family, uh, which is awesome. Sorry, uh, are you off tomorrow also or not? Well, if you're in the Netherlands. I think the, the USA is off also, or, well, no, 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 it's it's just the 4th of May, so it's Star Wars Day, it's not an official USA holiday. That's the 4th of July, I'm mistaken. Ah, 
the deployment is uh, being scheduled. Blue. Yes, so good. So let's see if the, well, I have to go to IE or uh, Edge. If you do a lot of Windows tabbing, so so this, what's this called? Uh, Windows tab. So I, it was kind of the arrow interface in Windows Vista. I don't know what it's called now, but apparently Windows or the graphics driver, no, no, it's Windows, keeps on crashing when doing this often. I'm not doing this often during my working day, but while streaming it, it's kind of useful to see everything in one screen. If you know where a window is on which on which monitor, so I have to open the uh, edge. See if the staging slot is already there. It's there, so that's that's good. It has been created. Let's have the release going on over here. Deploy API to staging, so that's also good. So it will deploy everything uh, first to the staging slot this time. And afterwards it should be doing a swap. I don't remember if I've disabled the other APIs just for the demos. Otherwise I might have to do this uh, after or if this deployment has failed. So the warm-up should return within a couple of milliseconds now, the, the API slash uh, warm-up, because the task delay was removed. One of the, my next projects to do on stream will be to create my own build server with SSD stuff and cores and whatever, because this just takes very long and it doesn't have to. I saw a couple of blog posts, you can also do this uh, with containers, so I might have to, well, why not do this via containers, it makes sense, because I don't need a big VM. Uh, because I'm only, well, building on Mondays and Tuesdays and sometimes on a different day, but n not for very long amounts of time. So a container might make sense. Spin it up at the beginning of my stream and ending it uh, afterwards. If there's some script you can point me to, uh, please let me know also. So I won't have to figure out everything myself, even if I would learn a lot from it, though. So I haven't deactivated the other, um, the other APIs, deploying the other APIs. I will do so if this one fails, if this deployment fails. Swap. So this probably fails or hopefully not. There's a big chance it will fail. And if so, I need to figure out why, which, which uh, thing was causing it. So the slot settings or the task delay. Hopefully the slot settings. Because from what I've read, it causes a reboot while doing the swap. And this might, well, cause all kinds of issues. Still, that's a big, if that's true, that's a big problem because most of the times you have slot settings when you're in an actual project. 
so that might be well not ideal while we're waiting let me, let me just plug uh, the YouTube channel of my employer so uh, we have this thing called the webcast which is well some some well nice talking with with a couple of uh, co-workers and uh, whoa the UI is strange today don't know why so but uh, there's a new one being uploaded well tomorrow or the day after tomorrow which will premiere uh, Thursday and I'd like to know what you think about uh, uh, the what you think about the video so it's in Dutch so you probably or may you might not understand it but I'd like to know uh, what we should or could improve with the webcast so we try to aim for 30 minutes we sometimes go over like this one 37 minutes uh, 42 30 one hour so uh, we try to aim for 30 minutes but I'd like to know uh, what you what you think about it so we do uh, uh, we record this uh, via Zoom which gets us this nice block uh, 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 the, the presenters, the hosts we share a screen and we well deliver some technical content or at least now we hope to, we we hope to deliver some technical content uh, and then so if you would like to know what you think about them and uh, leave a comment either on the videos or uh, on my Twitch channel. Uh, and while we're on YouTube, also uh, subscribe to my own uh, channel uh, if, you, if you want, so you can view all the recordings afterwards, view the webcasts, all of them are just being displayed over here. So this has failed as expected and it has the same error as before which I kind of expected but still too bad we got this because now I have to go uh, this is the an activity log so what do we have the past six hours so here's a failed event for the swap or at least hopefully there is yes there it is so there's also a list a list started Jason what does it say begin administrative swap config Right. Slot swap job processor. So it's the same error. There's some event ID. Event timestamp. On my staging slot. And it failed. Yes, and I have. <coughs> let's go to this slot. Oh, let's let's just try it. So refresh. Oh, so refresh, and it returns quite fast. So this it works. One point seven seconds. Well, the top had to warm up. 89 milliseconds so this is good fast enough for a warm-up and also when I well swap if I do this manually it does work which is strange but let's first open it in a different tab so, signed in so this is annoying with Edge. Every tab or annoying. It's a feature probably, but it's annoying if because when opening a new tab in Firefox, it's in the same context, and I don't have to log in every time. In 
edge you probably do need to sell there are deployment slot settings which I don't understand so it's the instrumentation key the version and I don't need them to be slot settings slot setting true yeah that's the one I meant so do I need to specify the slot setting false because I want all of them to be false Slot setting false. Okay. App service settings. So this is a different, this is kind of strange language. So Dutch should be off. Slot setting on from flight. Start the adjacent archive data test it works. Yeah, but it's say properties from mesh. So this person is specifying some settings and this makes it slot specific. Or at least that's what I get from it. I know you need the slot config names to make config sticky to your slot. I don't have this, so I don't have any. Um, any slots, any setting, back on the front end. So where is it? This is a I'm not using it anywhere but here. So this is the staging slot. This is the staging slot. This is a normal one. And I would expect this to just work. So what does Anthony have to say about it? Environment name parameters. very useful or at least not to me so where's edge so this, this is strange or at least well all of them are kind of environment variables so that might no no this one has the same convention and this one isn't so it's all application insights and this one also So 
uh, if I can just start setting files. Most of them aren't very special anyway. False, false, false. This one also false. Okay. Save. So now none of them are slot settings. And I want to try it again. I don't know if I'm. Oh, I'm just guessing over here. So, deploy, uh, disable, disable, save, okay. Create a new release. Create. Am I able to download the artifacts? Um, probably. Release. Summary. Where's the build? Retained by the release. Test coverage when published. So I want to download this thing and see what what's inside it. So deployment, viewing, uh, viewing code. I want to see if this is what I expected to be. Because it should have the so this um, let me see so this is the actual production slot production slot and this is a staging slot so the artifact is correct might it be the man's identity that could be. So what if I remove this? What if I don't specify a man's identity on the staging slot and the production slot does have it? It would be interesting to see if this works. So, but I've proven for myself at least the, the, the artifact is correct. <clears throat> how about how is the deployment going along oh it's quite fast quite a bit faster only one minute and it will probably fail again yes it has Up to long or failed. Please check MP init module configuration. How can I do this? Well, finish to check up element obvious configuration. How does this work? Yes, so a lot of text. So, what's the bad request? 2017. After I'm starting the slot first, do I need to start? The slot, it's it's 
it's already started, right? Yeah. Might be something I want to add. <clears throat> so, deployment. Oh, the system debug. I want to add the system debug. So let's go system debug to true. So this has a lot more. So let's first enable the, the debug. Uh, and, and also start edit the pipeline. So, uh, add service machine manage. Add it. Uh, where is it? Okay, over here. So, this subscription. Now I want to start start swap with preview so this is also a step i can add later and it this is what is in the suggestion of the error so but i don't want to do this just yet so what do i have more install extensions which can also be done via arm template cancel swap complete swap start app service so this one specify the slot production so i have the staging right now this is kind of a, a race condition so you first have to deploy it and then you can select it but it's also you can fill out text over here so this probably still works if you haven't deployed it just yet So start oh, staging slot, and most of the time people stop it after the swap uh, in order to save resources because the staging slot is running on the same well virtual machines uh, as, the, as the production slot. So turning it off if you're not using it makes sense in order to save resources and make them available for your production environment. So there's a start and save. So start it. It should already be started, but let's just make sure. Could be there's some race condition, of course. So it has been deployed. I'm deploying the files over there. And while the app service, the staging slot is still starting, I'm doing a warm up and this might fail. It's a bit of a long shot, and if this is the case, that would be quite well strange, at least unexpected from my perspective. So I'm uh, and what uh, I also want to do a create a release with the debug on. Um, I thought I could specify this over here. Apparently not. Um, add system dot debug right, right. Um, yes. I thought I could specify the stuff when creating a release. Apparently not. Some debug. True. Hopefully it's not case sensitive. And enabled debug logging. Okay, so create a new release. Let's see what happens. If it fails, at least we have debug logging enabled, which hopefully grants us with some more information.
Yes. <clears throat> it's deploying the infrastructure. So probably also the slot settings again. Oh, there you go. Let's check. Hmm. Still busy. So continue. So I'm in the app service, the slot, the staging slot. Start staging slot. So, okay. Continue. Slot settings are still, well, uh, gone. So they're not slot settings anymore, which is what I want. In this case, at least. Uh, I'll be deploying, well, the starting worked. It, it has finished starting. Deploying the API, so it, now it's uploading the zip file, and now it's swapping. And while doing the swap, it should also be doing the uh, the warm up. If there's an easier way to debug this stuff, let me know. I was hoping I would be able to see some of the stuff in Application Insights, but it wasn't very useful last time. Um, open a new tab. Maybe it's more useful this time. So, apparently not. Uh, there are some failed requests, which I wonder which requests have failed. 404. The root. Makes sense because it doesn't exist. So apparently uh, 405, which is also today. To get weather forecast for a one. Oh, it's that's the health check. This is the health check, so that's okay. Get weather forecast. Is there something? Well, oh, whoa, 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 not that one. For the past thirty minutes. Get weather forecast, staging, it's doing a get on the route, which will result in a 404. So maybe we should add something to the route. Request. Successful is false because it's a 404. And I've read something. Uh, swap defaults to the root if it's not configured properly. So, where was it? App in it. So this could be it. So is there some more on the route? Application is <coughs> This might be a good hint. So if your root, well, apparently it gives a 404, which is what I want, or at least it's it's uh, not configured. So 
So it's it's what what this states it uh, it does. If application initialization app init is enabled, then swap process will make another HTTP request to the root URL. On every web worker. Each of those. So it might be doing a request to the root and also to my warm up endpoint. So I have to add, uh, I have to add something to, oh, my root. Let's, let's just do this or and also check out the logs is there something useful over here yes there's a lot of a lot of text so it's can i get uh, this uh, uh, download all logs save open so i only need the last the the or the swap. Uh, where's Sublime? There it is. Titled. Okay. So it is doing log URL. Is it the release update endpoint? So start at the beginning. So some stuff which isn't necessary, or at least it's not useful to me at the moment. Yes, so get to what I'm seeing over here, it does a get to the root response undefined, space code not found. Okay, swapping. The cars open. Does a lot of management operations. Response code 400. And that's where, well, the problem occurs or the problem occurs from. So 202 response code 202. So this is the management, what's it doing, 202, 202, so Visual Studio, add some, how to create a root controller, uh, warm up controller, well, Root controller, maybe. <laughs> I've never had to create an API endpoint on the root. I, I wonder if this works. So controller new as a root. <coughs> Route nothing slash maybe. And I'll just copy paste. This stuff, well, I'll, I'll return an OK. Get, I don't need to log anything. Well, why not? Why not? Sleep or logger. Uh, 
Can I? Uh, let's do the. Okay, and it returns an okay. Clear enough. I wonder what this does. So, run. <laughs> Health endpoint. It's at two hundred. So this uh, five. Yes, so this works when not specifying a route. You have a root controller. Oh, let's see if this fixes my issue. Uh, work. Whoa, uh, wrong one. So, and root controller. Okay. Yes, two hundred, and I'm pushing it because I want to deploy this stuff immediately. Is there something I can do to speed up the build? Let me check in code. Oh, it's not opening code. So the build. Oh, I've not added it. Mm, existing item source pipeline. So, is there something nuget build all of the projects? Copy files? No, this is this is about it. So, it won't get much faster as this. And yes, fine. Line two, build pipeline to solution. No need to trigger another deployment. That will only take lots of time. Minimize it. Let's see what stuff is doing. So there's make this a bit bigger. Um, I don't need this one anymore. This one, no, no. We can rewatch this if necessary. Uh, setting up staging, yes, this is the stuff we're doing, so I've added these uh, variables in app settings. I want to keep this one open. So, oh, this is the post, yeah, I found earlier. Wait for every instance to complete its restart. This will trigger all instances in the staging slot to restart. This first phase of the swap. Validate. Works with the production settings. Okay, this is uh, kind of useful. So it does. I've never used this. I didn't knew it existed. But it looks like the swap with preview is doing the actual swap. It will well uh, work with the actual production settings, and you can see does everything still work? If so, proceed with the the, the swap. It's kind of yeah, I I can understand why this is useful. 
never used it before uh, in the projects I was involved in, but I can see why this is useful for some scenarios. So it would be awesome if this was the solution. Then the pipeline is still running. Should be finished now. And the deployment is pending, so it's it's probably going to deploy. Yes, so this takes about one one and a half minutes, or at least last deployment it was. So I don't need all of these. I don't need to follow it along. I I just believe it. So. <coughs> Deploying the infrastructure. Mm -hmm. So, would you be interested? Uh, just spitballing over here, just throwing uh, throwing ideas. Uh, would you be interested in watching me struggle doing video editing? So you can watch me struggle doing development already during uh, Mondays and and uh, Tuesdays. But the video editing is also something I'm I'm learning. Uh, would you be interested in viewing this also? I think it's well. It's not well. It it might be fun to watch and watch me curse. Uh, I don't know. Uh, I've cursed quite a lot while editing the the last video, <laughs> so I'm I'm a bit more uh, experienced now in the DaVinci Resolve, uh, but but uh, not very much yet. So the swap is happening right now. I wonder what will occur. Would this work? Will this work? Sure it takes its time. Sure it takes a lot of time for uh, Simple swap. Well, hmm. might be a good, some a good thing. It taking some time, and it failed again. <coughs> so this wasn't the solution. Very long time. Okay, so we still that's this. What this person, what what uh, Art Hessinger, Art Hessinger already did. So, but we just confirmed that we have the same issue, or at least some some similar issue. So, because it took too long, can I swap for site because. To love. Okay. I don't have any authorization on it. No, I don't have it. Workspace the same issue. Kind of off token. Website was not started. Okay, so doing an invoke web request in the pipeline in order to spin up the app service, this is kind of a bad thing to do, but uh, 
have to swap and then move around. I don't want to believe this is the solution. So use basic parsing. What does what request What does this do? It's, it's basic parsing. It's been deprecated. Okay, it doesn't do anything. So just for fun and giggles, I'll edit the pipeline and adding a new task to it. So it should be PowerShell. PowerShell. It has to be something over here. I'm calling it in smoke testing. Warm up in line. So, uh, what are my endpoints? So, I have them um, over here. So, this is one. Oh, F6 doesn't work apparently. And the other one was over here, the warm up. So this should work. Um. <coughs> Some comments over here in the pipeline. Well, fix it. Million. Okay. Um, create a release. Just do it again. And while it's being de while it's deploying, let's speed on. So there's the debug logging again. So it does a lot of attempts, but it requests some authorization token. This is in containers, also in 2017. So this person was quite early on to adopt the container uh, stuff. I didn't see a lot of these OAuth tokens. Always on. So this one is on for me, or at least uh, let's let's make sure. Uh, where's Edge? So configuration should be always on. Always on is on. HTTP 1. This could be higher, but shouldn't be an issue. This shouldn't be an issue. Load more. Yes, if I'm on the bottom of the page, I probably haven't gotten the answer.
clean bell slots. So they've done something in 2017. Issues resolved. Um, so, what does this recommendation state? Yes, <laughs> that's what I did just now, which isn't a solution, in my opinion. Action find React task. Linux twenty eighteen. Double cache. Website local cache and indeed let local cache. That's cool. I didn't know about this feature. Um, this one, this person still has the same issue. This is back. I'm going to try to swap. Warm up slots, execute swap over PowerShell, delete and recreate slots. Set enable local cache. Mm, yes. So this this is a very cool post. I'll, I'll uh, I think I've read this some time or uh, some time ago, and it's probably some other one by uh, by Ruslan. But this is a very interesting post. Um. We need to revert. Check swap operations. There's some diagnostics. So I could dive into the diagnostics to see if something. That's, that's the last. Okay. So last year, people are having this issue. And there's no actual solution, or at least this is an awesome post, but doesn't provide a lot of solutions either, or at least from scanning the page. So is the deployment done? Logs. So smoke test. 200 okay, so I got 200 okay from both of my tests. Raw content. I assume this went okay. And it still failed. So I don't see absolute status code. 
got the 404. Um, that doesn't make sense. That's the production slot. Yes, so the production slot does give a 404. Maybe you should swap them manually. Can I do this from over here? Swap, swap, swap. So if that's the case, so production got a 404 because the root controller isn't on production yet. And the shading slot got a 200, which was okay. And it could be the app initialization module figured out it got a 404 on the production slot and then failed to do the swap, which is strange because only the staging slot should be healthy in order to do the swap because I want to move the production. Well, mm, cannot swap took too long okay so we got the same error over here swap with preview close last week I was able to do the swap and now it's just gone you can only do this once um, deployment slots swap so I'll just do the, the preview step, start swap, complete. This should be quite fast and we should get a, once this is done, a 200 from the production also. So it's still a 404. Until this one is done, it should be better. Hey, hey, uh, Lander. Yes, yes, I'm Dutch. You can probably hear it a bit from my accent. How are you doing? Where are you from? Oh, this doesn't work. Ah, cool. You're from Bel Belgium. Nice, nice. So. I can start talking Dutch now. No, I'll just keep uh, talking in English. So, uh, what are you doing uh, during the day job? If I'm <clears throat> Edit this one to deploy I'm now deploying it to the production slot mm, yes I will do the deployment to the production slot save in order to get the error code 200 over there so create, so take some time, post, you're doing Postgres and SQLite, I th you think it's time for an upgrade. Yeah, well, I, I, I thought Postgres was quite uh, popular nowadays because it does NoSQL and relational databases and stuff like this. I, I'm not a Postgres uh, expert though. That's what I got from some podcasts. I, I mostly use SQL Azure and Cosmos DB if, if I can. Uh, SQL Azure because, well, relational databases and Cosmos because, well, no SQL. It was great to be in Azure space because you have all those services and they just work. Until they don't. I 
Blend the infrastructure again. Which isn't something I need right now. Because it's already deployed. I just want this production slot to have the latest bits. Deploying the API to, well, not the staging, I just didn't rename the step. Almost 10 o'clock my time. So I, I try to stop at 10 ish. Hopefully, we'll have a working deployment by then. Otherwise, we'll have to continue next time. Hopefully, the deployment works because I don't want to spend another session on this stuff. This is so frustrating and it should just work. I'm not doing anything fancy and special over here. So this will fail, but at least we have, or we should have, the latest bits over here. So refreshing, I'm getting a 200. And I'm also getting a 200 over here. This is the API warm-up. And also the root. And what about this one? Also 200. So all my endpoints have a 200 now. Now I'm gonna have it the pipeline again. Deploy to staging, staging, that's it. Deploy to staging again. <coughs> and I'll just create another release because we're uh, yeah so this one uh, failed the 41 took too long well, okay that's what I expected because we didn't do anything well uh, well I'm saying this but the production also had a new was also returning a 200 now. Mm -hmm. So is there something useful? Am I still getting a 404 somewhere? Probably need to grease my chair a bit. Error 400. So what is this? What's this? I don't know what this means. Authentication failed. Authorization header is missing. Okay. But correlation ID from ARM API. This works, this works, so I get a 400 in the end. Correlation ID from ARM. So these get. I got a 200 and a 404 over here, so these work. So my warm up and so the endpoints work. So I'm, now I'm getting a. And what am I doing over here? This is. Good resource groups, providers, website name, operation results, what is undefined.
What is this? Authentication fields. No. Oh, that's just me. So, HTTP 202. HTTP 202, what is it? Accepted. Okay. Swapping. Okay, update deployment, successfully updated deployment history. <laughs> Not very useful, or at least I don't know if it would be useful. Code 400. So, where do I get, where can I get more information on this? Log analytics, maybe? Mm. Edge. Or the, there it is. Um, oh, activity log. So this one failed. I have some GUID. Might be useful. Probably not. Refresh. So this failed. We already knew this. It's lots of, oh, whoa, accepted. Why don't I see the, the failed over here? It got accepted, but I don't see the failure over here. Hmm. That's what we saw earlier. Yes, swap slot. So, uh, except, well, maybe it's not here yet. So it will probably get here. A couple of minutes, so diagnose and solve problems. So this screen has helped me out quite often already. It has some nice diagnostic tools. <coughs> if it loads, Maybe this screen works better in a box. Why is everything so slow? Where am I? I'm in the, the main cell. Diagnose and solve problems. Why are the screens blank? R3 fresh. Annoying. Is there something over here? Photo force or some D3 JS TypeScript. Lots and lots of photo. Does is this being blocked by pile perhaps? Pie hole. Login. Um, what was the hmm. 
Mm, so this search. Didn't copy paste it right. That's what I see happen often. MSECCND.net. ECCND. So this. I'll just whitelist this one. So I'll star whitelist. Would this be better? I just want to whitelist this whole site. So star dot star works right. Add not cover the main. Okay, let's let's see if I can refresh this now. So so annoyed by edge a lot of the times. I uh, still get a lot of 404s, body, blob not found. So that's not my pie hole. Also, when pie hole throws something, it's not a 404. Start with Chrome. So portal and I can't figure this out in five minutes. I'll just stop for now and it will be a disappointing session again. Um, diagnose assault problems. This works for some reason. Uh, swap, check swap. Failed, and why? Yes, I know. This is the error I am receiving all the time. The why? Target shot production. Can you please point me in the right direction? Set up staging using PowerShell. I don't know. I don't know. If you have any ideas, let me know. I'll, I'll just stop for now. This this is strange stuff because I know my stuff is working. I know because uh, well, I validated it via uh, the the pipeline. We're doing a smoke test to the endpoints, which should be well invoked via the warm up, and those work. Even get the response two hundred. And apparently this one takes too long. Also via the portal now, so that's a small win, or at least it's consistent. The preview worked. Thank you uh, for, f for the follow, uh, Lander. Appreciate it. So. I will continue on this next week. 
sad to say. So if you're interested in watching me struggle even more for doing a warm up, feel free to join next week again. And uh, yeah, thanks. And have, have a great evening and uh, a great work week. Thank you all for, uh, for joining and uh, see you next week.